If your organization is looking at an Azure-based solution or just wanting to find out what Windows Azure is all about, the first thing you're going to want to do is get signed up for an account and you can get started with a free trial subscription if you're not ready to purchase at this point. Either way, you have to sign up with some kind of account. So let's have a look at how we can do that. So we're just going to pull up our browser. And you can get started with all things related to Windows Azure by going to windowsazure.com. And you see right here that what we have is the option for a free trial. Now, if you've already signed up, then you can certainly just sign in with your account right there. But if you are just at a planning phase, then by all means, you can just go with this free trial option. So we'll just click on this. And you do have to have at least some kind of Microsoft account, uh, either a Hotmail address or a Windows Live ID, what they now simply refer to as Microsoft accounts. So you do see again that we can try it out for free with $200 worth of uh, Azure based content, if you will, uh, within that one month trial. So we can, we can start building some applications and scale, uh, even within the, uh, the trial. But we'll just, uh, click on our try it now option. And as I mentioned, you do have to have some kind of existing account. Uh, so we'll sign in with our account credentials. Now, you will need a few things in place to be able to get your subscription started. Uh, you do have to supply, of course, your uh, personal information here. And like any form, just fill out, of course, what they require from you. And despite the fact that it is a free trial, they do still require a credit card. Uh, so you just have to fill out your personal info and they do actually have to send you a text message as well. So you have to put in um, a number that you can either be called at or receive a text message. And all they do is they just send you a code. So you just put your number in and hit send text message that will send a message to your mobile device. So you just have to wait a few seconds for that to arrive. Okay, so our code arrived. So we just have to plug that in. And then verify the code. Now from this point, you do have to supply credit card information. So we're just gonna leave that blank and uh, continue on here but once you enter in the credit card information you can just choose the option here to agree and then of course you can just hit sign up and that's the last step once you hit the sign up it creates your account and you can log into windows azure and get started and we'll see that coming up a little bit later on but that's the basics of just signing up for an azure based account and that free trial is available to anyone it's a good way to get started